What's good, YouTube? It's the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything. Sexy as hell, host of this Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson. Checking in with you guys from the sexy as hell man cave of America. We talking fire, stick, and chill this week, ladies and gentlemen. And this week's fire, stick, and chill is a continuation of a show that I did last week called The Good Wife. They have a new spin off series called The Good Fight. Shouts out to my high school friend and follower Kiara for pointing this out to me it's a great show take a look at the trailer take a look at the actors to give you guys a little background so that you can make an informed decision on how you're going to spend your time being entertained a piece of advice when in trouble hire Elspeth <gasps> that's me so what do you two need never again like nothing happened you're being sarcastic do my bros So, ladies and gentlemen, this story picks up pretty much where the good wife left off with Diane Lockhart. She's made it. She's ready to retire. And she decides she's going to retire. But she done some business with a Ponzi scheme guy, so we think, in this new iteration of the good wife. And what happens from that is she can't retire because all her assets are liquidated. And her co-star is the chick from... Game of Thrones, the redhead chick, and she does a magnificent job. That young lady is a lawyer, and actually her dad was the owner of the Ponzi scheme that has got Diane Lockhart having to work again. They've got twisted cases. They brought back some of those crazy judges from The Good Wife, and this story is just picking up right where The Good Wife left off. It is hot, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely... Life game to prove for you guys to spend your weekend watching. It's going to really, really, really keep you entertained. Lots of drama. And it's got Luca. She was on last season as well. Go on ahead. Make that pick. IMDb is giving it an 8.4. I'm giving it a 9.5. It is definitely Life Games approved. You guys should check it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my movie pick of the week that you should go out to the theaters and watch if you haven't seen it. Take a look. I got hypnotized last night. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Bro, I don't care if the bitches are Yana Von Zant, okay? She can't fix my motherfucking life. You ain't getting in my head. Bro, how you not scared of this, man? Look, they could have made you do all types of stupid shit. They have you fucking barking like a dog. Flying around like you a fucking pigeon. Looking ridiculous, okay? Or, I don't know if you know this, white people love making people sex slaves and shit. Sir, can I see your license, please? Wait, why? Yeah, I have state ID. No, no, no. He wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving. I asked to see his ID. Yeah, why? That doesn't make any sense. Here. You don't have to give him your ID because you haven't done anything wrong. Maybe, baby, it's okay. Come on. Anytime there is an incident, 
we have every right to ask. ask. Yes, yes, Life Gainers. Brothers watching my show, if you want to be scared as hell to date a white girl, this is the movie for you. Now, it is directed by Jordan Peele, comedian, and he did a magnificent job of weaving together comedy and horror and really saying a lot of things that we would say in the African-American communities to our uncles, to people in the barbershops about our greatest fears of going and dating interracial and what happens when you go to that first meeting with the family. It's just that he expanded on it a little more than what we could have ever imagined. There's some, a little bit of histrionics involved where they have some slavery issues going on. There's somewhat of a little slave trade going on. And if you are a fan of the skeleton key, it's got a little element of that in this movie as well. And the ending, they kind of leave it open-ended so that there might be another one, ladies and gentlemen. It is definitely a Life Games approved 9.5. Pay your money, go see this at the theater. You will not be disappointed, ladies and gentlemen. And you might walk out of there with a greater appreciation for what people can do when they cross over careers. Jordan Peele, shouts out to you, my man. This was well done, well thought of. And I wish you more and more success. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this week's Fire Stick and Chill. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Always check this Fire Stick and Chill on Friday so that I can help you guys save time flipping through your menus of your streaming devices. Helping you make that decision quicker of the greatest shows you can watch on your streaming devices. And also helping you get out to the movie theaters. Always check the video description box below my video. Do business with me. Do business with my affiliates. Until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.